The current exhibit at the Grover Gallery brings together a diverse array of artwork that is unified through the use of common materials. We are a group of encaustic artists. Essentially, we all use a blend of hot beeswax and resin to paint, sculpt, collage, and make prints. I think of myself primarily as a collage artist. My work combines collage, photography, painting, and drawing. In this new series, it may not be immediately obvious that these five pieces are collages. Within each piece, I embedded a map of a river system. I combined many thin layers of encaustic medium to create a smooth surface beneath and above the paper of the map. Before adding any color, I carved into the wax, following the lines of the river and streams. Finally, I filled those incised lines with oil paint. The process of removing the excess paint allows me to achieve the effect of the flowing blue streaks. In my mind, these streaks represent the essence of the watershed. I've always been a river worshiper. I grew up in a home in Northeast Washington that overlooked the Ponderay River, a major tributary to the Columbia. Now that I live on the Olympic Peninsula, I have been following the stories of rivers in this region. I'm passionate about preserving these stories of wilderness and human culture. I've hiked along many of these streams, rivers, and estuaries. I think of each piece as a portrait of a river and a prayer for the vitality of all waterways. I am absolutely smitten with the encaustic printmaking process. Encaustic printmaking, or creating original one-of-a-kind prints without a printing press, is a modern take on the ancient technique of using melted wax to paint layers, creating luminous and moody artworks. In this process, I take a chunk of colored beeswax and touch it to a warmed aluminum palette. The wax instantly melts and I create strokes of all sorts. Short and fat, long and skinny, straight and organic. Images of all imagination are possible. Landscapes, florals, abstracts, portraits, rustic textures, and geometric shapes. Once I finish my image, I then lay a piece of paper on top, which immediately absorbs the wax. I lift up the paper and voila, a print has been created. I adore enhancing the paper with more and more layers of wax and mark making. My works in the Grover Gallery March 2020 encaustic show are in two themes. In the floral series, you will find subdued and texture-rich images, along with several that include my own bright photographs printed on silk organza. The second series is a new venture for me, going 3D. Folding the papers, hanging overlapping strips, curling up the folded paper, and adding found wood pieces. I am again smitten, this time with new directions. Thank you for viewing my artwork. I am Victoria Foster Harrison, a working and teaching artist of the Curly Girl Art Studio in Port Townsend, Washington. Encaustic is my chosen medium. I was an oil painter first. But when I started to see works of art that had encaustic or beeswax incorporated in them, I was fascinated by the surface of the medium. I loved the luminosity, the texture, the fleshiness of the paint. And I started researching and exploring it. I found out that the ancient Greeks painted with it and that the medium outdated oil painting. How fascinating was that? As I started 
trying out the medium itself, I didn't take any workshops. Instead, I pulled from my knowledge as an oil painter. I laid my paint out on griddles, the same kind you would normally use in your kitchen. And I laid my colors out loosely so that I could mix different colors and values as I wished, as I went. And I keep my painting close to my hot paint because I want to maximize that three seconds that I have to apply the paint. It takes some getting used to, indeed, but now it feels like the most natural thing in the world. I love the immediacy of painting with encaustic, and I would not consider painting with anything else. I feel a bit like an imposter to be included in an exhibition titled Encaustic. Encaustic is a wax-based paint composed of beeswax, resin and pigment, which is kept molten on a heated palette. The word encaustic comes from the Greek language and means to burn in, referring to the process of fusing the paint. Generally, I do use unpigmented as well as pigmented wax in my work. For this particular show at the Grover Gallery, I mostly use beeswax and resin, which is referred to as encaustic medium, once the two are combined. Adding resin to the beeswax increases the durability and it hardens the wax. But then I am falling very short on the fusing part, since I dip the repurposed book pages or other papers in melted encaustic medium. The paper absorbs the medium and since I don't use any additional layers, no fusing is required. When I first started to dismantle books, I was quite nervous. How could I take apart something that was precious may be rare in someone's life. I did not grow up with many books, not even textbooks in school, so I covered books, sometimes for the feel of them, but mostly for the pleasure of reading them. Looking inside at the center of things is an underlying theme that I have pursued in all my work as an artist. During my wood turning period, I was able to look inside the tree and show off what had been hidden there. With books, however, I am mostly hiding the words, the knowledge that might be contained. While I deconstruct a book, I am rewriting, rethinking, rewiring and relearning. By turning the books inside out, I want to turn my stories inside out, recognize how they can diminish my life, and then create new conscious stories that are closer to the current truth, allowing for new possibilities and greater freedom and strength.